Willie D Live. What, what, what the haters talking about? What's up, family? It looks like Tory Lanez's prison stay will outlast his marriage because his wife of less than one year has filed for a divorce. Yeah, fam, it went down. She filed for a divorce. As you know, Tory Lanez is serving a 10 year prison sentence for shooting Megan the Stallion in the foot. Tory Lanez could have avoided a lengthy prison sentence had he conducted himself just a little bit better, with a little more decorum. Yeah, you know, like if he hadn't uh, had his daddy and other family members stepping outside of the courtroom, giving a play-by-play, -play, especially after he was convicted. That said, there's a lot of chatter in the background of people dragging his wife, saying she low down, she waited till the man went to prison, she kicked him while he was down. Oh man. Say fam, while that might be true, it might be true, it might be that she only was with him for what he could provide at the time. But let me explain something to you, fam. When you go to prison, nobody's under any obligation to put their life on hold for you. 10 years, even if you do eight years, eight years is a long time. Imagine living 100 years. If you lived eight years, that's 8% of your life. If he go to hold 10, that's 10% of her life, if she lived to be 100 years old, that's a long time to ask somebody to put their life on hold for all the needs that we need fulfilled as human beings in terms of the human connection and the human spirit, right? The human provisions, that's a long time. I wouldn't expect the woman to wait on me. I'd be like, hey, you know, it's fine. If she does, shh, man, um, hey, get that woman a trophy. But if she doesn't, and, and I, I wouldn't trust that she would be waiting the entire time anyway. I wouldn't trust that she would not do anything on the side. She wouldn't step out. Everybody got needs, man. And those needs must be met by any means necessary. But this is what happens when you take your freedom for granted. This is what happens when you take your family for granted. Now, the wife, uh, Raina, is also asking for custody of their child. They have a, a seven-year-old boy. She wants custody of Kai. Y'all think she'll get it? She absolutely will get it. Makes a lot of sense. Daddy's in jail. The next reasonable person, a logical person to have custody of him would be his mother. This is why we have to move with common sense and we have to think and we have to get outside of our emotions before we make moves. Whatever your objective is in life, family, whatever your goals are, your actions have to be consistent with that. If you uh, want to make it to the NBA and you're a basketball player, you're a star athlete in high school or middle school, whatever, you got to go to practice and you got to get your grade. You're not going to be able to flunk out and not go to practice. You might be able to do one, but you ain't gonna be able to do both. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? You're not gonna be able to flunk out and not go to practice. Uh, you're not gonna make it. If you're, you're studying to become a doctor, you're gonna have to go to medical school. 
You're not going to be able to skip that part. You did be in the surgery room, uh, chopping off people's legs when you're supposed to be in there uh, giving them some cold medicine. Um, but your actions have to be consistent with the outcome you want. If you want to raise your children, if you want to be there to raise your child, to see your child grow, if you want to have a conducive uh, home, uh, a family life, a family unit, you want to remain married to the woman that you chose to marry, it would behoove you to not do things that can get you removed from your family unit. It would behoove you to do things that are consistent with staying free. Not only free, but alive, right? So if you really want to raise your child, you want to be in your child's life. You want to stay married to the woman that you are in love with. If you want that union to last, it would be a, a good idea to not go around shooting people in the damn foot. I can't blame them. But what say you? Drop a comment. I'd love to hear your thoughts. No more talk.